another lovely day in the sunny sunshine state <laughs> oh my goodness it is like been like this all morning it's supposed to be like this all day too he's so cute hi he say good afternoon <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be a big girl now. No, no, no. What are you doing? Yeah. And look, we got another new hairstyle. Yeah. 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 We can't have that. Peyton loves doing the girl hair. What? You want some? Some. Say please. Good morning, everybody. So as y'all saw, it is a yucky, yucky day. Oh my God. Oh, so we will be inside unless the kids get adventurous, I guess, and want to go play in the puddles. Oh, goodness. But so we have gotten a good chunk of our school done. Um, we've got a little bit more to go. But I thought that I would just take y'all along our day today, just around the house, I guess. I was so hopeful to make it to the store today. We need some, well, we need food. We need we do need some toilet paper. I don't know. I don't think I will. I don't like going out to the store in the rain. That's just not fun. So I don't think that's going to happen. I have enough stuff for today. So it's not like dire need. But the other big thing that I'm doing today is washing all the sheets. I hate that chore. <laughs> oh, anybody else there with me? What is the most dreaded chore that you have? I really don't like doing bathrooms either. But the sheets might overtake the bathroom. I don't know. Anyways, Nathan actually puts them all back on. So it's just something that he's always done. I don't ever put them back on, but I stripped the beds, washing them. It's just the, it's just so much laundry. But so that's the other big thing that we are doing today. I actually have to switch that load over. And I went to go do that and the dryer didn't run either. I didn't turn it on. I don't know what happened. Okay, but Harper's clothes are still wet. Because <laughs> so, those are, uh, anyways. So that's the big thing that we're doing today. School and washing all the sheets. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your support with everything that we are going through. My last several videos so have been, I mean, honestly, what we are dealing with is very stressful and scary. And it's mainly just because of the way that the market is. Like we can buy a house, it's just that the market is awful and there isn't a lot available. So that's the huge stressor here. I believe that God is going to provide something for us. Um, we just are in the waiting game. But I know that my last videos haven't been, quote, you know, what I normally do. But it is our life and it's what's happening. And if I'm not anything, it's real. <laughs> I don't have time to be fake. Um, I don't have any desire to pretend or be fake or anything like that either. This is just who I am and how our life is going right now. But I did want to say a huge thank you for y'all, um, to y'all with your support through this. Speaking of laundry, <laughs> that's what's happening today is folding that as well. But I just wanted to make sure that I just said thank you for your support um, and understanding because, you know, our life is just going to be, this is just how it is right now. Okay, I'm going to actually try something different for lunch today with the sourdough starter. Okay. Um, I saw this on Farmhouse on Boom. So I have a preheated pizza stone in the oven. Yeah, Baby, is this hot? Okay. I think it's off right now. No. So this is, so I have the stone in the oven preheated at 400 yeah, degrees. Yeah. I have to help Harper with Alexa, hang on. Okay, sorry. So. What I'm gonna do is I have my sourdough starter here and it's basically kind of making like a flatbread. I'll link the video um, in the description box below. It looks really good and kind of just my cup of tea. I'm gonna do a different topping than what she did. She just kind of did her own herbs and oil, but I'm gonna do pesto after it bakes. So basically, like I said, I have just a preheated stone. And then I'm just gonna take my sourdough starter. So the stone is hot. I wish I had more starter, but I don't. Um, and you just put it on the stone. 
So obviously, I'm really gonna have to feed this. I was gonna make bread last night and I didn't end up doing that. So I needed to use something. I don't know, maybe there's enough for me to make two. I wasn't sure if there would be or not. So, I have really enjoyed doing sourdough. It's actually a good bit easier than what I thought it would be. So, I'm just going to spread that. So, hopefully this tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> so, it's kind of like just making you know, just a flatbread crust. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil on it. Not olive oil. I'm sorry. Avocado oil. It's just what I have right here. And then some salt. Okay, so obviously, because the stone was already preheated and hot, it is, um, it started cooking as soon as I poured it on there. So then it just bakes for about five more minutes and that's it. Um, and then I'm thinking I'll put pesto on it if it's, you know, obviously completely cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and feed my starter. I'm going to feed it more than what I have been. I haven't done this yet with it, um, but since I used a lot of it, I'm going to add a cup of flour. Rainy days, y'all. Rainy days. <laughs> it is only 11.30. And the kids are already stir crazy. Okay, so there's a cup of flour. Half a cup of water. This all combined. So I was actually even able to share some sourdough starter with a friend. Um, we were talking about it. And I was like, you know what? I think it would work. I don't know if she's used it yet, but that was fun to be able to do. So I actually need some more water with this. Alrighty. Okay, so I got a little bit more water. I'm just gonna add a little bit and see how that looks. There. That. Well combined. So this is what I came up with. I did top it with some cheese. It smells really good. I really wish I had some tomatoes, but I am all out. That's one of the things that was on my list to go to the store for, but it'll still be good. All right, I'm gonna try it. Miley's gonna try it with me. Hmm? Try break? That's pretty good. I do have to say. Jackson won, and then you, you like it? Then with me. Try and bite and lost. Yes. Uh -huh. Then with me. Uh, you want that? Hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No? You want to try a bite? Uh, it's, it's good. Fun. It is good. Try a bite. It's a good one. Is it you want more? No. There's more of that. So, the starter had been sitting for a while, so it has a stronger sour taste, but it's good. Still raining. <laughs> Nothing new. So, given the weather, and well, I just kind of feel like it. We've done school, so we are going to have a movie day. The older girls and I, I'm sure the boys don't want to watch this, but this is the movie One Call to Heart. Did you say that we've seen this or we haven't? I can't remember. No. So, we've gotten a lot of the One or Love Comes Softly series movies as well, so we like this too. But we're going to watch this one. Um, Eddie's over here making fun of me. Stop saying that. <laughs> but she doesn't like it whenever I say that she's making fun of me. Uh, so we're also going to pop some popcorn, watch a movie, and enjoy just time together. <laughs> Is it 
Go ahead. Okay, so I like to put coconut oil on popcorn and salt. That's so good. It's one of my favorite snacks. Is this one of your favorite snacks? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you make that for lunch? You want that for lunch? <laughs> laughing i'm heading out the door oh my goodness just happened kids it's just funny sometimes I'm heading out the door to go to walmart now so it is obviously much later <laughs> so it is actually seven o'clock at night isn't that fun so i'm walking out the door and of course i mean the kids see me with my purse and and nathan's obviously home and I'm like what are you doing where are you going i'm like i'm going to walmart we need some milk and it's like i want goldfish i want doritos I want, oh, Miley wanted Oreos. I was like, I am not buying Oreos, kid. And she's like, okay, fine. And then, oh, hair ties, hairspray. Like, they literally just sold me 10 items. I'm like, okay, I didn't write down a thing. So, good luck me remembering all that. Like, oh, so, now here comes Logan. <laughs> what do you need, kid? I, I should have left the driveway, huh? Oh, here he comes. What does he need? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Logan needs some. Logan's going to come with me. He needs some mama time. So, I'm going to take Logan. So, it has been, I mean, a day where we're just stuck in the house. And it has honestly made uh, some people a little cray-cray. <laughs> but, in other news about, um, I don't know. It was about right when we sat down to watch the movie. Which, I really didn't care for the movie. The show was a lot better. This is not about the movie. Or the movie, the show's a lot better. Taylor says the books are much, much better. In case people are curious and haven't read the book. So, um, but a realtor called us and a house popped up on the market. So we went and saw that as soon as Nathan got home from work. And it, it's a nice house, but it's only three bedrooms. And we were hoping there's kind of like a bonus room. Kind of similar to what our house has now that we were hoping would be big enough for a fourth bedroom. Technically, we're using five bedrooms here. One of them is not a bedroom, but anyways, um, it, it was way too small. So even at three bedrooms, like it just wasn't going to work the way that the house was set up. So, um, obviously still on the hunt. That is okay, but I'm going to, I'm waiting for Logan and then we're going to head to the store. We need milk. Obviously all the junk food that the kids just requested. I am not buying all that. Um, and what else? I don't know. We need a few things. Nathan offered, I was like, you know what? It'd be nice to get out of the house. So I'm running up to the store, but I wanted to take a minute and say so many of you guys, it is overwhelming how many people are in the same situation as us. I realize that obviously we aren't the only people, but so many of you guys have messaged me on Instagram or email or Facebook about your situation of whether how God provided through it or that you're still in the thick of it. And oh my goodness, it just... It just makes my heart so heavy. So know that I am praying for you guys as well. Um, I wrote out a list. And I'm praying over those every single day that God just supplies the needs that you have. Whether it be a house or other needs. It's just kind of crazy times right now. Two more children are showing up. I gotta go. <laughs> so just know that I'm praying for you guys. I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. And we'll see you in the next video.